Yeah, chambilecho waenga mbio ya mgambo ikilia basi jua kuna jambo It's another, another, another amazing day tukiwa ndani ya studio today As you can see, I have a guest, a very wonderful guest here Anajitambulisha badaya, atombia ni nani, anafanya nini Anakuwaga wapi, anatoka wapi, hizo zote But kubuka tuko to another episode of Sport Special Remember, this is the only show trending in East Africa and Central Africa And the only show that inakuletianga makala yote ya sporti E, uli mungote mzima There is no other place other than Hapa hivi ndani ya nyumba Sports Special Kama kawila tuko ndani ya Kings TV Pale hivyo Facebook unaza tupata at Kings TV Na pale hivyo YouTube unaza tupata at Kings Fraternity Make sure you subscribe, you follow, you leave your comment And pia unaza tuambi unatupata ukiwa mtagani Unatulonga ukiwa maineo gani ya hii Kenya Watu wa maju, watu wa Saudi Arabia Pia najua unatufuatilia sana Kwa ukaribu pia unaza tuambi unatupata pata kwa njia gani Hii show ya Sports Special Unaipata, unailonga aje, unaikemba aje kwa sewa wa mtagani E, kawa, kama kawaida Kama kawaida una, e, kwa wengi Unanijua, unanifaham pale hiyo ije Mabibi zenyu, magalfri zenyu Unanijua So, <laughs> and that's the topic for another day e, Today hitu kwa nani ya sports special Kama kawaida, unanitanga Kijana mtana shati mwenyewe watu mbasani pale e, Alafu watu wangero gero pale Unanita, e, unanita the big Bazu, alafu nikiendelea Watu warunda, wa watu ambao Waju ekonomi, watu wakilelesho, wakare Majua sukari ni panda mwana 420, it is a gold Sasa, wa watu ambao Waju ekonomi ni nini na hisa yukari ya ruto They call me the handsome boy Alafu wasiana wa the way you pali vinyo na mabibi zenyo They know that I'm the only king in their life I go by the name King Davido Kipenda za nini lanita maiwa David Au kipenda za hiji tena na zanita Baba Dekla ni baba yao, baba lao The cute boy Kama kawida unaviono pali wangu wa pili I have the guest here So nila mkaribisha aniambia yeye ni nani Anafanya nini, anatoka wapi Aniambia kama kwa majina mingi kaa mimi Aniambia kama wana Hapa kama ya natesa warebo hini kulu kukuvinje Atariku zeno mwana Brian Asa kisa Kukumia linka kwenye show Kukumeshi Nikofreshi saa Imekuwa siku mingi before tufanya kitu kama ya hini kwa studio Yako Kwa sabu mara ya kwanza tupokuwa tunafanya hini kwa radio Lakini saa hii tume Tuweza kutransition kwenye sani Video hivi Nani vizuri sana Kama ulivyosema jina langu ni Brian Kitinji Yes Mini mwanabari kutoka kituo Singe sema ni kituo Lakini mtandao wa Mansa Media hapo na ripoti katika habari za uchumi na maneno za kimataifa pia na siyasa kidogo kidogo hivi kwa sabi siyasa hatimaye ndio ina adhiri uchumi yetu kwa sabi bila siyasa siyasa iki lainika vizuri uchumi pia ina lainika utanda kunya chai ya mo chai utajaa na yo sukari ni mwa kwa sabi kunya chai si mingi walai sige kunya chai ya maziwa last time ni kunya chai ya maziwa coffee but you know what I'm talking about 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 what is it really scary a mercury? In a mercury. What's up? Anyway, already in a uzwa. See, kuamba. Oju wa kisema ya kuamba. Yes. Eti tunafanya investigation. Tukamata tu awili wa na uza. Sukari ya mercury. Yes. Oju sukari ni uzwa kila hali. Ushai kunywa ni shai kunywa. Already tuko na iyo mercury. Yes. Ala sayi tumeza kipa iyo. Iyo kwe. Iyo kwe. Iyo kwe. How many temperature hako ni kapi? Oju iyo mercury tuko na iyo. Na mini kwa shua. Sukari na uzwa runda. Si sukari na uzwa uku. Ama sukari na uzwa juja. Sivu nyakuna mwanabari amefanya Kwa kisema kama minajabu alisema Maskini atapagi kuwa maskini Na yu tajiri atatajirika za hivi Sina neno Karibula nja sports special Kama kawinda Najua ni mwana chelsi Siju mbona leo jema jezi I don't understand why Sijapa jezi kwa samara mili Kwa samara mili Already season yetu imeisha na tumepakundi baya sana Mkona mangabi kumuna mbili? Kumina moja Mkona mamoja kumuna mbili Kisa pala kina wapita? Ah, Christo Palace wali tupita eh? Wali tupita, wali tupita So, wali tupita So, mbona mba tu from the other side Mbona atu wengi relegation Hakuna atu mautia ya mba tu, namba 3 na namba 12 Kusote atu 
kama ujashinda ligi mm. na ujaenda relegation mm. hakuna tofauti. Okay, so sawa. Kwa hiyo tunaenda sports special. So ni kwa sababu sababu mbili, sababu moja hiyo ya kuperform na pia sababu ya pili ni tutapata sponsors wapya wale sponsor main wa jazz ile 3. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ile kampuni ya 3. Yes. Contract yao inaisha hii season. Uh-huh. Maanisha kuanzia next season tutakuwa na sponsor mwingine. Mwingine. Eh. Haya, tutakuja hapo pia kwa European League. Ah, yes, yes. Sasa nataka karibu sana. Wacha nikukaribisha tena. Kuna kombe ya maji pale. Next time utapata juice. Unapenda nidonga juice ama ni juice? Charubati. Ni charubati. Unapata charubati pale. Utakuwa na enjoy enjoy kidogo tukiendelea. So wacha nikukaribisha tena karibu na ile show kubwa. Sports special. Kama kawaida unajua kama poster kama tembetembea pale na ulikuwa guest. Na watu wengi wamesema they cut Wait. Eh, to see what is going to happen in the house today <laughs> then a sports special Sengio. so nataka tuanze hapa kwetu eh hapa kwetu Kenya bila kupoteza muda ndio unajua uko juu uko majuno tunaongojea sana eh mm-hmm. tuanze hapa kwetu Kenya na tukato ile rugby yeah. Kenya Sevens were relegated eh, to the ni world eh, ni world rugby so yeah. easy we are not there anymore so yeah. nikikuuliza tu what is nakumbuka kuna wakati Kenya Sevens ilitupatia sifa sana kama Kenya tulikuwa pale hiyo top pale hiyo top so easy we, ca- we cannot talk no more about Kenya Sevens ni kweli na ni jambo la kusikitisha sana kwa sababu mimi na wewe na watu wengi wenye wata watasikiliza hii show yes. tumekuwa katika ile era yenye Kenya raga tulikuwa tunaongoza mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunafika hiyo world series na tulikuwa tunaenda ku compete peke yake yes. tulikuwa tunaenda na tunakaribia kushinda hata mm-hmm. kama tulikuwa tushindi mm-hmm. finali tunafika semi finali tunafika mm-hmm. tunashuka chini kwa ile wajua katika raga mkitolewa kwa finali mm-hmm. robo finali ama semi finali yes. mnashuka chini mnachezea kombe lingine mm-hmm. shield cup yes. na tulikuwa tunashinda hizo mm-hmm. lakini kitu ime fanyika mimi vile mimi naona ni kwamba mm-hmm. wajua katika miaka mi toka serikali ya kibaki ingie yes. ufisadi mm-hmm. na mismanagement ime imefuzu vibaya sana mm-hmm. imekithiri vibaya sana yes. na kama tuko na shida katika serikali yetu ya ofisadi ujue pia katika management ya rada management ya sports zote mm-hmm. Kenya tutakuwa na hiyo shida mm-hmm. sababu kuu ya kwamba athletics haijakuwa affected ni kwa sababu athletics ni individual sport yes. individual sport ni ile mimi naamka naenda na kimbia na shida yes. sitaji serikali yes. sitaji plan ile si unajua kama saa hii yake yako yako mwenyewe unaona kama saa hii raga wakitaka kwenda kucheza mm-hmm. Afrika Kusini mm-hmm. tunahitaji ku kuita wachezaji 16 mm-hmm. 16 hivi mm-hmm. tunafaa kuwa na kocha mm-hmm. tunafaa kupeana zile resources tuwalipie tiketi kila kitu ile package wapi pale watakaa vizuri sana milo nini watakula yes. chakula chao huko uh-huh. training yao facilities uh-huh. na kwa sababu ya ufisadi kwetu yes. hayo maneno yajakuwa yakifanywa vizuri uh-huh. so eventually hiyo performance ilikuwa iende chini uh-huh. na ni jambo la kusikitisha sana kwa sababu mimi sioni yes. kama tutarudi tena huko juu uh-huh. unless tupate serikali kwa sababu yeye tumekuwa tumekuwa na kibaki tumekuwa na uhuru tumekuwa na ruto sasa tunaimeingia sasa hizi mambo yanaendelea kwa na bado kule mambo yanaendelea kwa shuka so wacha nikuulize tu swali tukitoka hapo tukiendana do you think tunaona Kenya Sevens tena back on the top mimi sio ni mimi naona itakuwa kama cricket unakumbuka cricket tulikuwa kuna wakati cricket tunashinda pia alafu ikaenda boom kaisha sawa naona itakuwa kama itakuwa kama cricket na ni jambo la kusikitisha sana haya wacha tuachane na hayo wacha tuombe Mungu eh tuombe Mungu tuone before niende kwa swali lingine kuna wakati kulikuwa na Ruto alikuwa anaongea na wanahabari na kuna huyu mtangazaji fulani kutokea pale hiyo station fulani sasa sema station akauliza bwana Ruto about the stadium nini akasema last time mli blame about the stadium but this time anaweza ameongea na huyu anaitwa Babu na Mwamba huyu CS wa sports akasema wameweka mikakati waweze kutengeneza eh, stadiums ndio waweze kuleta waweze kuleta nini waweze kuleta a uh, a uh, anaitwa Afcon 2027 iweze kuoldiwa hapa hivi Kenya what is wasem <laughs> natamani lakini itakuwa ndoto kubwa kwa sababu kitazama vizuri yes. wajua niliona ile bidi yenye Kenya Uganda Tanzania waliweka mm-hmm. ya ku host Afcon mm-hmm. na ukiangalia ile bidi yao ilikuwa ni notebook Not- I mean, yeah. seriously I mean notebook hiyo <laughs> ndio bidi yenye mnapeana mm-hmm. like hey, unaona kama ukiangalia kama ile bidi 
okay Qatar ni nchi kubwa sana yes. na World Cup ni kitu kubwa. Yeah. Kiangalia bid kama ile ya Cameroon na Cameroon mm-hmm. ni nchi yenye uchumi yao ni chini yeah. ya Kenya yeah. na Tanzania. Uh-huh. Ile bid waliweka ku host Afcon ile ya mwisho. Uh-huh. Lakini like, kwa ni kitu serious hadi kuna video hapo kuna mm-hmm. documentary ya vitu zitakuwa zinafanyika mm-hmm. watu watakuwa nakaa wapi hawakuunda mm-hmm. notebook bana. Hii uh-huh. no, 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 no we are not we are not serious. Sana tutashangaa sana. Ana sasa hiyo hakika hiyo Afcon niambie ni stadium gani Kenya inaweza host. Sasa at least Tanzania wako na moja ya Dar es Salaam. Nilikuwa nakuuliza sasa hapa Kenya. Tuko na kasarani ilikuwa imebaniwa for some time. Tukakuja na hiyo stadium imeimprovedwa lakini imebaniwa pia. Sio ilikuwa imebaniwa for some time. What can we do as the government of Kenya? Unaweza fanya nini kuweza ku improve the stadiums? Okay kuna mengi wanaweza fanya mm-hmm. kuna mengi wamesema watafanya mm-hmm. na wakatenga pesa watafanya yes. lakini hawajafanya mm-hmm. kumaanisha wanajua wenye kwa sababu ukiangalia unakumbuka ile wakati kombe la dunia lilikuwa lifanyike South Africa yeah. mwaka wa 2010 na kabla hiyo yeah. Coca-Cola walikuja wakapeana kwa sababu walikuwa wanajenga stadiums mm-hmm. in African countries so, wakakuja waka peana hiyo contract wakasema tunataka kujenga moja Kenya mm-hmm. watu wakaleta siasa oh hatuwezi wakasema sawa tuzie nyayo stadium basi wakauza hiyo nini rights kandikwa pale Coca-Cola stadium mm-hmm. wao wakaanza kusema oh wajua nyayo stadium si juu ni heritage yetu wezi ita Coca-Cola stadium wakaachana na wakaacha hata redevelopment kabisa wakaenda mm-hmm. Tanzania walijengewa hiyo stadium yao Dar es Salaam mmoja okay hawana hata zingine lakini at least wako na hiyo moja nzuri sisi hapa hizi stadium za ziezi host mechi yoyote ya maana. <laughs> Hawezi hata leta wizi leta hata team mm-hmm. ya England waambie wakuje wacheze kasarani. Okay, yeah. I mean kwa nyasi. Oh so hiyo nyasi hata wizi slide wizi piga hata kwa nzuri sana. Uh, na mimi by the way mimi sila huko kina wanyama ama kina ulunga. Mm-hmm. Wakikataa kuchezea timu ya Kenya kwa sababu yes. we imagine umechezea stadium za maana umeenda ukachezea huko alafu na unakuja unaambiwa kuja ucheze kwa nyasi. <laughs> nyasi hata ile mwangilio wa maji sijui yes. maji lili mtu alikimbia na pesa ya kulipa bill akaenda zake mm-hmm. ah tuko mm-hmm. na shida kubwa sana kabisa kabisa yeah. aya tukiendelea yeah. wacha tuachane na mambo ya stadium so wacha yeah. hii Kenya yetu ilikuwa na mambo yeah. kuna mtu mkimbiaje anaitwa Manyala anaona sasa hizi eh hey, anavuma Okay, ana mambo lakini hajashinda hajashinda bado lekio hype ni do you think do you, do you think tuko na future sprint at uh, ni ngumu sana kwa sababu yeah hiyo factor ya okay kuna hiyo factor ya genetics mm-hmm. ya kwa nini watu wa Jamaica na hizo country Barbados mimi mm-hmm. ama wale watu wa Rusi wa America wao shinda hizo spirits yeah. kuna hiyo mambo ya genetics uh-huh. lakini pia kuna ile factor ya kwamba height unaona kama bolt uh-huh. height yake ni 64 uh-huh. omanyala ni 62 hiyo uh-huh. height ni factor kubwa kwa sababu uh-huh. mtu mrefu akiweka stride ya hapa uh-huh. na mtu mfupi aweke ya hapa huyu uh-huh. mtu mrefu ako na advantage yeah, na sprint races ni pa 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 uh-huh. short distance ndio mtu mfupi na mfeba kwa sababu hiyo hatachoka haraka inaenda kama shimba shimba uh-huh. mtu mrefu hiyo sprint inamsaidia uh-huh. sana na shida wa manyala ni hiyo height factor ndio uh-huh. inaweza mzuia inaweza mzuia yeah. sawa sawa tukimalizia Yeah. Yeah. Twende kwa Kenyan uh, Kenyan Premier League. Mm-hmm. What is your uh, take on Kenyan Premier League? Mimi unajua mpira Kenya ni spendi kuongelelea sana. Si unajua imejaa na mambo mingi, match fixing, mm-hmm. ni, ni kama timu moja napata imeshinda league sijui kwa miaka ngapi imefuatana. Mm-hmm. So far so good. What can you say about uh, Kenyan Premier League? Alafu mm-hmm. kuna wakati tuseme ilisemekana kuwa ambapo na mambo league yake enda kuongeana watu super sport. So hii league kisha ya Kenya, I think coming season ya league ya Kenya toko naiona kwa itakuwa kwa super sport. So what is your take? What can you say about that? About the Kenyan Premier League so far? Okay, watch it was a mazuri. Tasca <laughs> wanaka kushinda, especially baada ya Gor Mahia kuchapwa na FC Leopards, uh-huh. ni kama alisema, "Ah, nyenye mmeshinda mm-hmm. sana, sasa acha Tasca round hii ishinde." Na Tasca mm-hmm. ukiangalia wanaongoza league zimebaki mechi nne, mm-hmm. na ni kama watabeba kwa sababu pia ukiangalia the last five games wenye wamekuwa wakishinda, kwa yes. yao ni, ni nzuri sana. Uh-huh. Gor Mahia wako nyuma na pointi moja, uh-huh. lakini pia ile kuchapwa na FC Leopards ndio iliwazuia sana kwa sababu angeshinda hiyo mechi angekuwa anaongoza na point mbili mbele ya Tasca mm-hmm. na pia ukiangalia kuna timu zingine kama Police mm-hmm. ile timu ya Police mm-hmm. bandari hizo ya Sugar wamekuwa wakicheza vizuri na wamekuwa kiperform kwa kwa hapo around top 10 ya league yes. na ni vizuri sana lakini sasa kwa sababu ligi yetu uh-huh. iko na mashida nyingi hata ikiwa kwa super sport uh-huh. haimaanishi mimi nitaacha kuangalia game ya Chelsea <laughs> ni angalia ligi ya Kenya na si kwamba sitaki nataka 
I swear na sisi peke yangu mm-hmm. watu wengi hata wewe unataka Jumamosi moja mm-hmm. wende hapo Kiringiti mm-hmm. stadium mm-hmm. kwa karibu nawe uangalie mechi moja hapo mm-hmm. ukuje na familia yako mm-hmm. waende hapo kule popcorns mkiangalia mechi mm-hmm. lakini bado hizo story hatuna facilities alafu pia hatuna ile user experience mm-hmm. ya ku encourage watu wa kuja waangalie mechi mm-hmm. kwa sababu user experience ndio kitu inafanya watu wakuje stadium yes. mimi sikuje stadium kwa sababu nataka kukuja kupigwa tia gas mm-hmm. siwezi kuja na mtoto wangu nikuje kupigwa mm-hmm. tia gas yes. nataka kama nikukuja stadium tukuje tu, watoto wapakwe rangi mm-hmm kule popcorns mm, tukunywe soda tupige kelele tufurahi mm. tutoke hapo tufi, turudi nyumbani salama mm. lakini sasa wajua sasa Kenya tuna hizo user experience kabisa mm-hmm. na watu kwa sababu ya hiyo hawakuji kuangalia hizo yeah, mechi yeah. mm-hmm. so na kwa sababu watu hawakuji kuangalia mechi mm-hmm. inamaanisha timu zinachukua pesa kidogo mm-hmm. na kwa sababu wanachukua pesa kidogo mm-hmm. hawezi nipo wachezaji mshahara mzuri na kwa sababu wachezaji walipo mshahara mzuri mm-hmm. hawezi kwenda kujitolea na quality ya play hai ongezeke okay. kila mara mm-hmm. so lazima wa resolve hiyo kitu yote kuanzia na infrastructure sponsorship ili ligi ya Kenya ifikie kama ligi zao hata ligi ya Tanzania mm-hmm. watu wenda kwa wakati sana umeona ligi ya Tanzania inakuja kwa kazi sana na hata imekuwa ranked above the Kenyan Premier League absolutely uh-huh. absolutely na watu wanaitazama kwa sababu kuna huko at least wame professionalize wamefanya kwa kama ni kazi mchezea kucheza kadanda ni kazi wachezaji wanalipwa vizuri yes. okay si kwamba wanalipwa kama wachezaji wa Uingereza uh-huh. lakini wanalipwa mshahara mzuri wa kuwa kuhusu kucheza tu kadanda yes. kwenda gym na kurudi na kurudi nyumbani sawa sawa bwana Brian so tukimalizia mtazamaji mtazama wetu na msikilizaji wote si ndio mtazamaji na mimi sasa mtazamaji na mimi sasa si ndio si ndio mtazama anaweza kusikiza eh we are going to take a very short break we're gonna be right back na tukirudi tunapanda tunapanda milima na mabonde hadi kule parani Europa eh tuunge tumeza kuandalia mambo mazuri sana eh after this short break usibanduke keti kitaka tu place nipo tunarudi Ah, karibu tena mtazamaji wetu. Kumbuka tuko ndani ya Kings TV pale ile Facebook page na tunazopata ndani ya YouTube at Kings Fraternity. Kumbuka msikilizaji wetu na mtazamaji wetu. Let me use that term. Bwana, <laughs> msikilizaji lazima awe anatazama na mtazamaji lazima anafanya nini? Awe anasikiza, si ndio? Eh, kumbuka um, eh, remember to follow us, you subscribe there, you comment, leave a comment, tuombe na tupate ukiwa wapi. And even you can comment about this show. And if you are outside there and you feel like you are going to be a very good football analyst or sport analyst sport analyst unaweza longa na sisi pale hiyo leave a comment pale hiyo facebook page yetu kings tv tuombe uko mtaa gani tunataka kuinvite hapa ndani ya studio eh tuongee sport tuongee makala ya sport bwana na kama wewe mwanao upendi kandanda na upendi sport i don't know what you love haya karibu ndani ya show karibu ndani ya show sport special the only show training in east africa and central africa segment yetu ya kwanza bwana brand muongelea mambo ya kenya so tumepanda tumengoa mimi nimeoa nanga tume tumetumia mimi ama tumetumia ndege gani nafika haraka mimi ama ndege ndege haya tume lunch tume lunch eh tume lunch live pale hiyo tume lunch EPL sawa sawa so nataka tuanze haraka haraka manchester city Three cards in a row. Mm. What's that? that what what I don't know sina nikaongelea mambo na Chelsea City sana. Hiyo na kwa hiyo wewe kama mpenda kandanda, wewe kama fan wa kandanda, najua watu wengi wanapenda kusikiza EPL, watu wengi wanapenda kutazama ligi ya EPL, ligi ambayo inabobea dunia yote nzima. Wewe kama fan, ukawe kama fan, najua ni fan wa Chelsea, usichinde kwambia msikiza eh ni mtazamaji, hata wa Chelsea fan, I know you are Chelsea fan. Yeah. What can you tell about that? Manchester City, they are champion. Mm. Okay? Mara ya tatu wameshinda mara ya tatu mfululizo ukiwa unafuatana. Ya wana deserve pia. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu jua ukiangalia venye wameshinda ligi na yes. pointi tisini kila mara, mm-hmm. inamaanisha standards zenye wameweka ni juu sana. Mm-hmm. Na hata kama nasikitika kwamba <laughs> wameshinda mara nyingi, lakini mm-hmm. pia wakati wa Ferguson, wakati yes. nianza ku support Chelsea, mm-hmm. pia manyu ilishinda mara tatu consecutive. Mm-hmm. Mimi sioni kama ni kitu mbaya wameshinda mara tatu kwa sababu wameweka standard mm-hmm. ya kwamba kama mnataka kushinda ligi lazima mpate pointi tisini. Uh-huh. Na sasa ni kwa timu zile zingine, ni kwa timu yangu, timu yangu yenu mm-hmm. Manchester United mm-hmm. iende chini iende kae chini angalie mm-hmm. ni nini Manchester City wamekuwa kifanya misimu mm-hmm. zimekuwa zikipita yes. waweze kufikisha point 90 mm-hmm. si ada kushinda ligi peke yake mm-hmm. kufika point 90 ni kitu jambo kubwa sana mm-hmm. kwa sababu imagine 
Ferguson zile ligi zote zenye alishinda na Wenger hapo ifika pointi 90. Mm-hmm. Ni Mourinho peke yake Chelsea, Conte, Klopp mm-hmm. na Pep wamefanya na Pep amefanya kila season. Mm-hmm. So ni changamoto mm-hmm. si kitu mbaya ni sisi tuangalie tusisikie wivu tuanze kusema oh mm-hmm. sijui wako na pesa. I mean mm-hmm. kila club iko na pesa. Yes. Tumia pesa ngapi season na tuko namba 12. Mm-hmm. Ni kuna vitu wamekuwa wakifanya either ni kocha wamechukua kocha mzuri sana yes. ni si, sile system ziko pale kwa boardroom ziko mm-hmm. sawa ambazo zimewafanya waende pale na waongoze kila mara. Uh-huh. Yeah. Aya what happened to Chelsea? Oh what happened to Arsenal? <laughs> ndani <laughs> 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 kama unataka kushinda ligi lazima mwapige hiyo uh-huh. hiyo story na celebrate na emotions na nini ndio ili nifanye nifikirie na hata pia wewe ikafanya mm-hmm. ifikirie ya kwamba hii ligi wataipoteza wenyewe kwa sababu hata venye tuna sifu man city yes asilo walikuwa naongoza na point 11 mm-hmm. wakati mmoja mm-hmm. kwa maanaisha hata wange lose tu zile game mbili na man city hizo yes. ni point 6 uh-huh. bado wangechukua ligi wangeshinda uh-huh. zingine uh-huh. so ni wao wamepoteza ligi kwanza uh-huh. ndio wakaruhusu man city wakuje washinde washinde yeah. We Arsenal, mafanzo wa Arsenal sasa nimepatana nao pale ndio nje. Wanakiniona wanajificha. Wakiniona wanajificha. Sasa tukie dunia hii busara. Okay, please jika mwanafunzi na nafasi kama hiyo tena. From the top of the table to where? Uh, na kuna mtu nilikuwa naambia hivi juzi tu nilipata nene kamwambia kama hii ligi ingekuwa na iko na mechi kama tano hivi Arsenal wana madhata namba 5 au namba 4. Yeah, absolutely. Because well. kuna <laughs> all players watakuwa wamepatana pressure, mm-hmm. hii game zinafuata watakuwa na perform vizuri. Mm-hmm. So ni, before tutoke kwa Manchester City tukiendelea naona na kuna kwa players eh kuna players wale wachanga sana wameshinda Premier League for five for five times ndio kama Foden kuna Real Madrid is the first African uh, player in the Premier League mara tano mm-hmm. so do you think Manchester City wakiendelea na hivyo wanaenda wao wanaendelea wanaweza win the Premier League season ya 2022 uh, 2023 2024 i mean watashinda tena mm-hmm. kama Pep yuko pale mm-hmm. Alafu jua pia itaji chama ina zile signings wako wenzenye watafanya kwa sababu kiangalia chama yao mm-hmm. bado hawaperform kama vile walikuwa wakicheza ile season ya 2017 18 na 18 19 mm-hmm. bado kuna vitu pale hazija click mm-hmm. na especially pale kwa wings hawaja replace ile mbio ya Sterling kukimbia mm-hmm. juu sahii game yao imekuwa ni slow kupanga pole pole mm-hmm. na mimi nashuku sahii wataenda wanunue either another new winger mm-hmm. akuja lete hiyo speed kiasi ama midfielder mm-hmm. mwingine mm-hmm. na kama wataendelea kusajili wachezaji wazuri yeah. bora wasishinde tena mm-hmm. si Haaland atakuwa pale ni Bruno atakuwa pale mm-hmm. wale wachezaji na wale kocha wenye wameshinda watakuwa pale tena so, so leo ni wakishinda hii ligi tena uh, itakuwa hii ligi ya England itakuwa kama Bundesliga uh, ah sidhani sidhani haiko kali kwa gari Neville alisema uh-huh. nilipenda sana Ali, alisema ukiangalia between 1990 mm-hmm. na 2004 mm-hmm. Manu ilishinda ligi mara kumi mm-hmm. Arsenal ilishinda mara tatu mm-hmm. alafu ilikuwa tu na mshindi mmoja peke yake mm-hmm. Blackburn mm-hmm. ilikuwa ni timu tatu mm-hmm. ukiangalia kutoka Man City shinde ligi mara kwanza mm-hmm. 2011 hadi mm-hmm. 2023 mm-hmm. kumekuwa na clubs ngapi mm-hmm. Leicester wameshinda mm-hmm. Chelsea wameshinda yes. Manu alishinda ile ya Ferguson ya mwisho yeah, yeah, uh-huh. na, ma, na Liverpool wameshinda so kumekuwa na five different clubs wakishinda uh-huh. so ukiangalia yes wame dominate but EPL sign ni competitive sana. Mm-hmm. So wale wakishinda mara nyingi wataishinda kwa sababu mm-hmm. ile standard yenye wameiweka iko juu sana. Si kwa sababu kama Bundesliga ni timu moja peke yake na kuna timu zingine. Mm-hmm. Haya yeah. tukitoka hapo hiyo ni Manchester City. Kongole sana kwa na Manchester City competition. Yeah. They deserve it. They have been playing they have been exactly. playing a very 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 nice game. True. Na kila mtu ana support bali hata mimi kama sija big of Manchester <laughs> at least kikombe kikombe la kuja kikombe mekuja the city of manchester sawa <laughs> sawa <laughs> eh mimi mana manchester united <laughs> lakini nimeenda pale kwa manaiba sawa so, sawa so. wacha tuangalie yeah. real, real madrid inaonekana real madrid is the first african footballer to win five premier league titles yeah so unaweza mranga aje basi ni 
na mimi naona ni kama hapewi ile sifa yenye na deserve kwa sababu mm-hmm. alishinda na Leicester. Mm-hmm. Imagine Leicester over uh, wakati Leicester kwa karegeshon kwa sababu wakati wakachukua ile na alishinda na wao na ile ile season walishinda na wao mm-hmm. alikuwa yeye ndio alikuwa na the most assist na alikuwa second top scorer baada ya Bali. Mm-hmm. Kante ndio anapewa sifa nyingi lakini pia nafikiria Mares pia anafaa pesa sifa kwa sababu ali perform vizuri. Yeah. Alafu kwenda Man City pia na shinde nne. Mm-hmm. Na imagine wale wachezaji wote Man City wamekuwa nao. Mm-hmm. Mares amebaki pale. Sikina mm-hmm. Sterling Jesus alikuambia mlango wangu wakambia waende niende. Yeah, amebaki pale. I mean lazima uh-huh. tumsifu sana. Uh-huh. Nafikiria kwamba apewe ile credit chenye anafaa kuwa. Okay. Labda atapewa kimaliza kariera. Haraka haraka. David De Gea. Yeah. Bonde mlove ni yake. Yeah. Despite you goalkeeper ame concede magoli nyingi. Yeah. Mimi unajua sometimes nilika chini kaangalia. <laughs> David De Gea yeah. Golden Gloves. Yeah. Na ame concede mabao nyingi by the way. So. Ukiangalia De Gea anaangalia huyu goalkeeper wa Liverpool. Eh sasa wao walisona na kwa sana. Okay, sawa sawa. Sa. De Gea ame concede magoli nyingi mm. sana. But I mean it's due to seven ni bahati yake au tuseme ni luck. 16 ameenda na 16 clean sheets na zinaweza fika 18. Na zinaweza fika 18 yeah. because kwa kuna game mbili na kuna, kuna game mbili zimebaki. Mm-hmm. So what can we talk about David Gea? Unajua tena nilishtuka kwa sababu ukiangalia nikikumbuka manyu na kumbuka zile mechi zenye mechapo oh, yeah. masaba. <laughs> na kumbuka kama mechi masaba 7 goals to 0. Maze alafu unaangalia unapata hati yako na alieka 16 clashes. Mm-hmm. But naezaelewa kwa sababu mm-hmm. Na okay na hii ndio opinion yangu. Mm-hmm. Toka machine za umie yes. defense ya Manu imekuwa nzuri zaidi. Uh-huh. Umeona notice? Sure, like, okay. Show America clash. Kaisa ni kabisa. Na mwanae mwanae alicheza moja akauza wacheza ile ile pale Barcelona leader of the pale na Varane like mm-hmm. Manu ameanza kuweka clean sheets kibao. I don't know hiyo ni theory yangu. Okay. Labda kuna inaweza kuwa na facts zinaweza onyesha sio hivyo. Mm-hmm. Lakini toka Martinez au Mie mm-hmm. defense ya Manu imekuwa solid sana. Mm-hmm. Na inaweza kuwa zile vitu tumekuwa tukisema kwamba mtu mfupi hiyo. Kwa sababu me notice kuanzia April clean sheets ngapi imeweka kwa ligi? Mm-hmm. Ni kama tano hivi. Okay. Nikikumbuka ni ile tu game ya West Ham peke yake mlichapo. Ah. Nikikumbuka kila game ya Brighton pia. Ona Brighton pia eh. Bali kumbuka meka clean sheets kibao sana toka Martinez au Mie. Sawa sawa hiyo ni David De Gea. Golden Glove imeenda kwake. Wewe unajua mamba Golden Boots atakaongelelea. Obvious unajua imeenda unajua unajua imeenda kwa nani? Eh tukitoka hapo acha tuangalie Venetius Junior. Venetius Junior amekuwa crit alikuwa abused. Yeah, racism. Na hiyo game nili watch nili nilikete chini nika watch hiyo replay hiyo game na I think na kapata red card. Lakini red card yake imekuwa cancelled na kutoka kuna mtu fulani huyu nini president wa FIFA alikuja kuongelea about that thing akasema kuna rules tatu eh ya kwanza ya kuanga kama anakuwa criticize nini abused hiyo racism ime nini ball na sasa ile kusimama players wanatoka wanaenda huyo anaanza na announce mpira uh-huh. inaanza tena wakiendelea they still in asmama then they walk out na three points na pationa kwa nani kwa wao watu wengine so pia the fifa president and never pick a shift what can you talk by the spain i never expected that spain is a corner this is because there is a kitu tumeona sana italy na eh, italy sana ndio imekuwa ikionekana sana what can you yeah. talk about venetia zinini Okay ni jambo la kusikitisha mm-hmm. kitu yenye amefanyiwa kwa sababu idea ni wezi taka kuona mchezaji mm-hmm. akikuwa abused kwa sababu ya rangi yake ya ngozi mm-hmm. si kitu nzuri sana kuiona kabisa mm-hmm. na anamgurumia na naomba ya kwamba hao maneno yaweze kuisha na wasuluishe mm-hmm. lakini uhispania wamekuwa na shida hiyo ya racism mm-hmm. miaka nyingi sana kwa sababu unakumbuka wakati wa eto mm-hmm. pia kirushiwa ndizi oh, ya kule yeah. eh, yeah. imekuwa ni shida kubwa mm-hmm. na nashuku kwa sababu pia ile karakter ya Vinicius mm-hmm. eh, kila mara anataka ku dance mm-hmm. kuchenga chenga kila mtu kuaibisha mm-hmm. inaudi mafans mafans <laughs> <Wasa ma-fans laughs> bale la kumtusi yale matusi ya kawaida kama uingereza wenye wanafanya mm-hmm. wanamtusi na ile rangi yake ya ngozi <laughs> tumbiri toka hapo. <laughs> okay. Kwa hiyo maneno ya kusimamisha mechi mm-hmm. mimi singependa kwa sababu kocha kama Simeon ama Mourinho anaweza tumia hiyo tactic vibaya sana. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu mkijua mechi inaweza simamishwa mm-hmm. mpewe 3-0 mm-hmm. 
si unaweza kuja hata utume fan mmoja mwambie we mechi ikiendelea hapo hebu hebu anza kutukana hapo matusi anaanza mechi na airishwa katika hiyo mechi tuseme ilikuwa ni return leg mm-hmm. first leg mlikuwa mwachapa wande mm-hmm. mmekuja mkaanza kucheza kama venye ilikuwa eti na real yes. but si tu wamewalemea wamewalemea mm-hmm. race zimi naanza game na mechi na kamilishwa yes. si mlikuwa ni ile naenda si itairishwa wakati mwingine ama wape 3 ama mpewe 3 nil haraka haraka i think to the same it's not a good thing yeah it's not a good thing yeah, 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 it is not, it's not a good thing mtu yeah. mtu 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 mpenda mtu kuingana na ngozi yake mle yako kweli kabisa haya tukitoka hapo kuna it is a good news for gunners huyu uh, mchezaji wa Osaka ameongeza contract to 2027 what is your thought on that haraka haraka yeah i, I think nile strategy ya arsenal wameta ku kwa sababu na by the way is the highest paid player right now eh uh, atakuwa highest player uh, paid player atakuwa analipwa 300,000 uh, pound per week eh but ni gamble because kupea mchezaji wa 21 years contract kama hiyo mm-hmm. because uh, atafika 25 utamlipa ngapi mm-hmm. kama atakuwa na perform vizuri sana mm-hmm. ama uh, aende sahihi apate injury mm-hmm. ya mwaka mmoja akirudi form yake ishe yes. utakuwa na mchezaji mwenye analipwa mshahara mkubwa na mwezi mtoa kwa timu mm-hmm. so i miss you only labda ungempea kitu kama 200,000 ama 150,000 pounds per week mm-hmm. alafu akifika hapo 23 ama 24 ndio anampea contract okay. mkubwa haraka haraka newcastle mm-hmm. After 20 good years. Yeah, my dear. Congratulations to our. Can you see you? Na watatoka I swear. Uh-huh. Because wako na pesa. Okay. Sasa hii wataenda wachezaji wachezaji wazuri sana. Kwa mm-hmm. nyingine sasa hiyo Champions League sio ndio wakitoka. Watakuja kusajili. Because kiangalia huyu anaitwa huyu kocha wana anajita idea ho ni I think nime pronounce vizuri. Yeah, <laughs> idea ho yeah. Idea ho. So alichukua hii Newcastle ikiwa namba ngapi? Alichukua ikiwa namba 19 kwa ligi. Sasa hizi ame Beba iko namba 3. Yeah. Lakini Manchester United kulingana na game wako naye ndio maliza namba 3. So what can you talk about this coach? And what can you talk generally about Newcastle? Ame overperform. In fact, kama si Man City kushinda ligi, yeye ndio anafaa kwa coach of the year because mm-hmm. ile improvement ndio amekuwa nayo yes. ni kubwa sana hata mimi nimesema. Na achana na vile watu wanasema okay Newcastle toka wachukuliwe na Saudi Arabia kwa na pesa ni sawa mm-hmm. lakini ukiangalia wachezaji wengi kwa hiyo first 11 yao ni wachezaji amewapata mm-hmm. si basi ni zenye amechengeneza kumaanisha mm-hmm. anaenda pale akawa improve mm-hmm. wenye wanacheza na kwa, kwa sababu hiyo mm-hmm. anafaa pewe sifa nyingi sana okay. na vile wameingia Champions League i hope wachez, waende wa, wasajili wachezaji wazuri mm-hmm. kwa sababu Newcastle could be one of zile timu zenye zinaweza challenge Manchester City mm. venye kunaenda vile kunaenda yeah. uh, tuangalie tukitoka hapo ni twende Italy Serie A Juventus wamepokonywa kwa point 10 tena yeah. so wanasimama na Maria Sarakasi yes imekokana Sarakasi walinyang'anywa 15 points wakarudishiwa sasa hizo wamepokonywa ada 10 points sasa hizo wako namba Champions League wanacheza so wako namba 7 wamesimama namba 7 wako na 59 points ah. after kunyang'anywa 10 points ambayo wameapeal na inazarudishwa <laughs> uh-huh. lakini imekuwa ni sarakasi kubwa lakini mimi wa studio hiyo maneno yako kuwakata mm-hmm. pointi mm-hmm. kwa sababu ya financial scandal mimi spendi kwa sababu as long as si kitu ya kuhusu referee mm-hmm. ama kitu kuhusu wanjani mm-hmm. mimi sio ni haja kukata pointi kwa sababu hiyo hiyo uso wachezaji yes. kama kuna mtu pale alienda kasajili mchezaji alafu baada ya kuandika 30 million akaandika 20 million mm-hmm. hiyo si shida ya Pogba ama si shida ya Chelini hiyo ni shida yao mm-hmm. so kama unafaa kuchukua hatua achukua hatua kwa klabu si kuchukua hatua kwa point mm-hmm. because hii inapanish wachezaji wenye si wao wamefanya hiyo kazi mm-hmm. yale makosa ya pale kwa bodi ya financial okay. na pia ni the same same thing kwa hiyo kesi ya Manchester City ya kwamba hata wakipatikana mm-hmm. wame wamevunja sheria yote mm-hmm awafai kukatwa pointi ama kuchukuliwa vikombe kwa sababu hiyo si shida ya wachezaji mm-hmm. hiyo ni shida ya klabu kule juu okay. yeah. sawa sawa uh, tukitoka hapo what is happening in bundesliga what is happening in uh, end yeah um, my... <laughs> <laughs> na murumia tuche tokaachwe na bibi mama yupate <laughs> kwa sababu kazi alipoteza Chelsea ameenda Bayern uh, amekuwa sasa coach wa kwanza Bayern kupoteza ligi uh, na sijui kama atabaki next season akipoteza ligi. Alisi anaona president wa Bayern amesema atampatia time aende na players uh, pre-season uh, because that what he needs more. Because aje kuna players pre-season ukasema hata kwa sababu ya ligi atana players pre-season ampatie time aone kama atapofa. 
Eh hey, bacho jua mkiluzi ligi mara ya kwanza mm-hmm. kuirudisha itakuwa ngumu. Mm-hmm. Kwanza kama amekuwa mkishinda kila mara kwa sababu Dortmund atakuwa na pesa ya kusajili wachezaji. Okay. Alafu hiyo motisha ya kwamba ah by the way tuliwapokonya ligi next time. Mm-hmm. So Bayern si ile Bayern ya kitambo. Mm-hmm. Uja ma akicheza hiyo kazi pia itaenda. Itaenda tena. Haya basi leo mbona alifute huko cha mwingine? Mpaka sasa ieleweni. Because walikuwa naongoza ligi walikuwa wameshinda kila mechi Champions League walikuwa ile kikombe kingine ya cup. Mm-hmm. Tuche na mingia wakatoka zote za hiyo ligi mbele. Sawa sawa. Twende Spain. Yeah. What can you talk about Barcelona the Champions? Yeah, ambayo imekuwa obvious kwa sababu ya Italy na Italy ambao nao ni Champions kwa sababu pale after I mean all card boy Spain ni kwa sababu ya tatu. At the Champions there. Mm. Uko Spain eh, naona Barcelona pia wamepata hiyo ligi. Unachanganya hiyo maoni yako ni yapi kuhusiana na hao watu wawili? Yeah, ligi imekuwa obvious for some time jo. I think Real ilipofika mwezi wa January walisema tuta focus to Champions mm-hmm. League. Geo gap ya point nani ilikuwa kubwa akachana mm-hmm. nao. Mm-hmm. Na kwa Italy na Poli pia wali wali walienda haraka haraka wakakuwa kama Arsenal wakaacha gamu kubwa sana mm-hmm. lakini sasa zile timu zingine Italia au yes. Germany ya kwamba tumeweza kufikia because ukiangalia from Napoli since then mm-hmm. imekuwa ikishuka hadi uh-huh. Champions League yeah, wakasa yeah. yeah. like kama kungetokea any team pale wa challenge mm-hmm. hata wao kikombe ingeenda okay. Barcelona the same pia because from yao ilienda chini mkawapiga mm-hmm. Europa wakaanza uh-huh. wa, wa, yeah. ku lose match pia kwa ligi yao mm-hmm. ni vile hawakupata Man City wao huko mm-hmm. because kama Real wange makinika ama Atletico wange makinika kitambo acha mm-hmm. wao hiyo ligi wange kukojo okay. <laughs> haya sawa sawa before nianza kwa tuongelee ni kupatie games za cheza weekend uh, tuende hapa hivi Manchester kombe la la bingo barani Ulaya mm-hmm. Manchester City Real Madrid what happened mazee nilishtuka sijawahi sijawahi ona timu kubwa ikichezewa venye manche, venye real walichezewa uh-huh. i didn't expect so you ingekuwa like kama ni timu dogo imeenda pale ikapigwa 4-0 uh-huh. okay na venye waliekewa pressure uh-huh. dakika za kwanza za 20 uh-huh. uko like okay inaeleweka man city quality ni juu but ni real iko na modric iko na cross watu uh-huh. wameshinda kombe la dunia uh-huh. mwingine ameshinda ballon d'or uh-huh. wako na kama vinga hapo ameshine world cup wako na vara i i mean no vara alaba mtao like what you can experience ya ku perform at the highest level like ni mshtuka i swear siku 4-0 siku expect yo ni expect man city labda anaweza shida 2-1 but 4-0 na ile because you gaming kwa ta kumi kama mm-hmm. siko toa mm-hmm. ah man ah siku expect hiyo uh-huh. performance ile ilijagala istanbul kaki uh-huh. I used to be obvious I mean Manchester City obvious, in Manchester. Inter Milan I mean wakicheza venye walicheza na Real kuna timu inaweza wapiga I mean but me no like me no like comic na Inter Inter Milan yes umeona ligi wako namba ngapi in Istanbul ligi wako me no like that I can see you on the ice I okay na nai ah well I see you on the ice ah even yet even the paper may pangia in Champions League I mean because ukisikia kila mara acha mimi walishinda ligi mimi amekuwa kiongelea like Bardo Sporting at Champions League atutajulikana like a great team uh-huh. I mean hii ndio kitu yenye mmefanya kai Man City hii hii mechi atakufia atakufia hii mimi naona tu wake alafu ni Inter Milan I mean Lukaku hapo mtu anageuka kama Chelsea <laughs> Chelsea <laughs> Chelsea mmeleta Pochettino mm. so mafans wengi wa Chelsea wamekuwa kwenye text mm. kaniambia nyinyi wana Manchester United unakojeni the next season mtajua mjui <laughs> tunakuja kwa ubaya sana uh, eh, Pochettino amekuja Chelsea uh, Pochettino tunamjua akiwa Tottenham and uh, ajeshila abu eh, okay, no matter how good okay. he performed in Tottenham hapo shile ene cup Tottenham so mmeleta <laughs> Chelsea na mashida zenu na masaidi yenu new management new coach players that is really mjauza mjui mtauza kina nani amekuja pale na bado nataka kufanya signing zingine you are a Chelsea fan i know you have experience tell us about Pochettino well, aki Bisi ya yona mtu akiwa na pesa na na make decisions baya kila mara. Mm-hmm. Hadi nashangaa like unajua ukiwa na pesa yes. like unaweza hire the experts wa kuja kwa advice mm-hmm. because Manu walikuwa na chance ya kuchukua Pochettino mm-hmm. na wakakataa na wakasema na walipeana reasons zao kwa sababu mm-hmm. say like hana ile winning mentality ya kushinda vikombe na nini. Mm-hmm. Alafu nyinyi mnatoka mnaenda mnamchukua. I mean I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hawa say mko na pesa like amwezi kile. <laughs> si elevi kabisa. Ndio maana hata ukiangalia hata wale wachezaji tulisajili. Mm-hmm. Unamvioje kuchukue milioni mm-hmm. 100 mm-hmm. unwe Enzo Fernandez. Mtu amecheza mechi ya 50 peke yake. Mm-hmm. Like 
unachanganya logic yao na hiyo pesa yenye wako nayo like you should be making better decisions okay. na mimi naona pia next season tutakuwa tuna shida because mm-hmm. at the end of the day Pochettino si a light manager mm-hmm. na ile squad yenye wako nayo pia si a light squad mm-hmm. because many of those players mm-hmm. hawana hiyo experience ya kuperform mm-hmm. katika hawana hiyo experience ya kucheza ligi zingine na kuperform kwa kwingine uh-huh. so bad yale mashida yenye tumekuwa nayo hii season mm-hmm. yatakuwa next season labda vile kwa sababu tutakuwa na mm-hmm in European competition tunacheza like um, na focus moja na focus na ligi na FA yeah, na labda yeye anaweza kusaidia to get up for but uh-huh. bado tu hizi shinda ligi na Pochettino uh-huh. I mean alipoteza ligi akiwa PSG uh-huh. yenye akikiweka mtu yote pale anaweza kushindia ligi na squad yote yale kwa squad yote alipoteza ligi na hata kushinda Champions League because kwa unaona kama anapata kila kitu yeah okay so unaona chance ngoma na manga bi coming season ngumu wacha nione ni wachezaji wapi tutauza kwa sababu naona tutafanya mistake ya kuuza wale wachezaji kina masomo na, uh, na hapo tukifanya hiyo mistake acha top ana top 6 ni ngumu naona kama 7 8 aya yeah. sawa sawa yeah. tukimalizia season ulikuwa umetabiri nakumbuka ulisema si ligi na shindo na kina nani ulisema na hebu tukumbuke man city man city yeah. lakini namba 2 na watu actually think we are like Liverpool. Liverpool. Uh, so Liverpool yeah, huko wanacheza yeah. Europa this time round. Yeah. Hata wanang'ana yaje, waezi ingia top 4 because yeah. Manchester United waezi kubaki kuruzi game mbili zote. Exactly. Hata na kwa kuna mega pia kuna mambo kwa hiyo. Of which totally na mimi kwa ina make sense. Mm. Ukibaki na coach ni kwa sure angia top 4. Sawa sawa. Unajua tu hatutafanya show nyingine kama hii. Ligi ikuisha inaisha. 28th of May ligi imeenda yote imeisha. Si ndio tumboje hadi mwezi wa 8. So nikikuuliza swali Eh, but even before the end, can you talk a little bit about Manchester United? Kumekuwa na hiyo nuno about a new a new who, a new owner, kuja ma new glasses wamekuwa kwa gumu hivi wataki kuuza club. But Manchester United ni mwanaki strong this season, games za wale wamekuwa kiperform the baya sana. Mm. What can you say about that? Ndio twende utupatie to twende twende season ya 2024 at 2023 2024 nipatie top 4 team yako ya haraka haraka alafu <laughs> alafu pia haraka haraka malizie ongelea relegated team tumeona this system imeenda bado hajaenda wanaweza kupata hizo moja Everton wa draw wana 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 wana, wana baki but uh, Southampton ni shaya ndio Southampton washaya eh nikiangalia hata niangalie vizuri <laughs> eh tukiona na eh ah kuna leads leads ya enda acha kubado bado na nana wakishinda Everton wa Leeds na Leicester ongelelea hiyo relegated teams pale alafu tukimalizia ya katika like manyu inashangaza because for me our Trafford imekuwa nzuri na away lakini mimi nashuku iko based on the style of play because mm-hmm. mechi nyingi home especially wakicheza na timu kubwa mm-hmm. wamekuwa ki defend na kucheza counter attack mm-hmm. ambao probably ni rahisi kwa sababu wana ile support ya mafans alafu wajua mkiwa kama mmekuwa chini for a long time hata mkicheza mpira wa counter attack mafans wanakubali mm-hmm. na wajua mkiwa juu kama Man City wakienda wacheze counter attack sasa hivi mafans wao watakataa because mm-hmm. wamezoea kukua juu hatuwezi enda kupack basi mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But na shuku mkienda away mko ile coach apya kwamba amtaki um, kucheza counter attack mm-hmm. but pia mnataka ku open game na mki open game sasa hii squad yenu bado iko chini na ndio maana mnatandikwa vibaya sana mm-hmm. next season kama mtaingia top 4 ina dependa zile signs mtafanya mm-hmm. especially kama mnaweza sign striker nilikuwa naona stats flani ya kwamba Rashford ana perform poor mm-hmm wakati ile amna striker mm-hmm. katika team mm-hmm. like wakati mlikuwa na Lukaku Rashford alikuwa a perform mm-hmm. Poleta Ronaldo from Puff up ana perform mm-hmm. wakati mlikuwa na Zlatan pia mm-hmm. hapo ana perform wakitoka alikuwa ana perform so sijui kama mkisign Harry Kane bado atakuwa ana perform mm-hmm. but itakuwa interesting mm-hmm. zile signings mnaweza fanya because depending na signings pia mnaweza challenge kuchukua league mm-hmm. kufanya signings vizuri sana mm-hmm. next year top 4 i think itakuwa tu kama kawaida Man City Liverpool Arsenal mm-hmm. Liverpool Man U mm-hmm na pia Arsenal and probably yeah I think hizo team zingine so, because atakuwa na is a very big gap acha tuseme tuna alikuwa league kuna na vile ina kasa hii i mean says it open german city or achukua league uh-huh. because wao ndio wamebeba sasa na mgadi ola bali uko pale na ndio kuna na zaenda brazil kuna fununu fununu yeah na ndio dafta coach akishinda treble but naona atabaki miaka mbili ili ashinde champions league tena aseme Nilisema siwezi shinda Champions League nimeshinda mara moja na nime defend nimeshinda mara pili so hakuna mm-hmm. kuongea tena mm-hmm. so nashuku labda naweza kaa for only two years mm-hmm. ili ashinde Champions League mara nyingine alafu mm-hmm. alitoe alafu pia wajua kiangalia pia sayaki amua kutoka ataenda wapi mm-hmm. 
jua hizi ndio Real, jua amekuwa Barcelona, hizi mm-hmm. ndio timu nyingine ya Germany jua amekuwa Bayern, yeah. so timu gani ataenda? Okay. So anaweza baki hapo Man City apoe kama Ferguson walai. Ah. Uh, sawa sawa. Na ole wetu. Ongelea hiyo relegated team or relegated relegated now na Everton wataepuka because mm-hmm. Everton wanahitaji tu ku draw pege yake mm-hmm. na washatoka relegate na watabaki namba 16 mm-hmm. na watakuwa ligi next time namba 17 watabaki ligi mm-hmm. Leicester na Leeds inabidi washinde na wategemee Everton wa lose mm-hmm. ambayo itakuwa ngumu itakuwa ngumu Everton wako home okay yeah. sawa sawa so eh, kuna Man City na piga leo uh, before to ende kwa game ya leo Manchester City na piga on that June mm-hmm. Saturday this is the coming weekend Manchester City, Manchester United. Pale hiyo Wembley, FA Cup. Nana anaibuka mshindi? Man City. Ai bwana. Wewe hii hapo ni wasidi sasa. Hii hapo ni wasidi. Wakicheza venye, wajua mimi na ile performance yao, wakicheza venye walicheza na Bayern na Real. Hakuna mm. team. Lakini this is two APL teams. Tukikuja nikikundisha haraka haraka. Manchester City walipiga Man U kwao. Yeah, so so I think it had made it to Flammy and I was like, 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 I was Mm-hmm. but ukiangalia pia hiyo use ilikuwa ile time yenye Man City walikuwa wa form mm-hmm. sasa hii Man City ni tofauti mm-hmm. i mean the only thing peke yake inaweza inaweza fanya wasishinde ni labda kukuwa na red card ama penalty mm-hmm. kama hiyo but bila hiyo i mean wanashapatana tutapatana hiyo siku <laughs> tutapatana hiyo siku na mtakula tano pia finali <laughs> hapana <laughs> tumekata hiyo yako ni wasidi Chelsea fans Chelsea fans so tukimalizia malizia bwana Brian tukiangalia kuna game kadhaa leo Manchester City napiga na Brighton sawa sawa kesho Chelsea unapiga na Manchester United what is your prediction Season yetu ilisha kitambo. Hakuna haja shida. Hakuna haja hakuna haja haya. Manchester kesho waliza season. Thursday Manchester United wanapiga na Chelsea, Sunday Arsenal wanapiga na Wolves, Aston Villa wanapiga na Brighton, Brentford wanapiga na Manchester City, Chelsea wanapiga na Newcastle, that's another loss. Aya Crystal Palace wanapiga na Tottenham Forest, Everton wanapiga na Bournemouth, Leeds wanapiga na Tottenham, Manchester United wanapiga na Fulham, alafu Southampton wanapiga na Liverpool. Hii ni weekend ya mwisho ya ligi, si ndio? Eh alafu Yeah, a lot of results in the search and the results. Is only games in Abuja, and both the cause of Malaysia, Malaysia, Ligi Pale, Manchester, and the mother number two because Newcastle and Bakshagi Moja, the Kaken, and here Chelsea. But it's a bit hard. Hard? No, 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 ni coach mwenye amespendi sana ni coach ambaye amespendi pesa nyingi sana ya kwanza but ameshinda vikombe ameshinda vikombe alafu kama ndio imeingia imeingia final ya Europa ambao anaona wakishinda anaona wakishinda lakini alipa kibasi kwa hiyo game yake ya leo haja badili kabaka bana na but Roma inampa like team ndogo inampa kucheza hiyo basi because unajua sasa hii team kubwa uone kama like hata Manuel Lemea because unajua hizi cheza basi kila mara team kubwa sasa hii Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana bwana Brian eh. eh naona mtu mmoja umetupa kisogo. Unajua sasa leo tunatuambia kinachokuwa na mwanzo lazima kiwe na mwisho. So wako kumalizia maoni yako ya mwisho, unaweza tazama pale kamera maana yako ya mwisho. Alafu advise wana Arsenal kidogo. Alafu <laughs> kitu moja nataka waambie wana Arsenal pale hivyo nje. Unajua tuliambiwa wana Arsenal ni kama Moses. So umesoma script ya vizuri. Yeah. Moses alitoa wana Israel wapi? Misri. Akaongoza. Alipofika Mount Sinai Aliambiwa wewe utaona ule mudi lakini hautaingia. <laughs> so, Arsenal fans ni kwenye mtu by the way take good care of Arsenal fans. Mm. Ni kubaya. So, maneno yako ya mwisho maneno yako ya mwisho. <laughs> ya maneno yangu ya mwisho ni msimu wetu ulikuwa mbaya. Kuna ile prediction ya kwamba kila mtu okay wale watu wengine kama sisi tulikuwa tunajua ya kwamba tuta struggle baada ya Abramovich kutoka, hiyo mm-hmm. transition kwa sababu tukua nayo mm-hmm. tungekuwa na season mrefu sana. Lakini yote yako na mwisho yameisha uh, tuwezi 
tutaendelea na mpira kila mara tuko na miezi mitatu ambayo tutakuwa nyumbani mm-hmm. lakini kuanzia next season na nataka tuone venye i hope competition itakuwa juu na man city wasikidie tu na ligi atakao mm-hmm. ataishinda mm-hmm. ikuwe very competitive hadi siku ya mwisho kwa sababu sasa hii imekuwa vibaya sana like wameshinda na three games imebaki i mean hadi two games au kama two games two games yeah. hata kabla game ya chelsea walikuwa shashinda ligi like i hiyo si vizuri ligi na faishindo ile siku ya mwisho so hiyo competition itakuwa sana lakini pia important i hope kama tunaweza kuwa na changes katika ra, katika sports yetu yote mm-hmm. kat, katika taifa letu kwa sababu si kitu nzuri sana kuona tukiangalia tu mambo ya ugenini kila mara mm-hmm. pia pia nataka kwenda stadium nione mm-hmm. timu yetu ikicheza nione bandari wakicheza nione gormaya wakicheza mm-hmm. niende pale niburudike na marafiki wenzangu na turudi so i hope hayo maneno yatatatuliwa okay yeah. watu wawili watatu watatu sasa nini ah ah salamuza Hauna mimi tumeko salamu. Haya, hauna mtu pale yule unataka kutumia. Ah, para para. Ni muendelee, muendelee tu kuangalia hiyo show kwa sababu kuna vitu vingi tumekuwa tukipredict kuanzia February kama Arsenal watashinda ligi. Why are they not even in the league? Kama unataka kupata hiyo kupata hiyo podcast, kupata hiyo story. Ingia pale ile kwa podcast ile sports special. Pale ile Anger FM taipata. Tusikize vizuri. Actually tutawaikea link up. Tutawaikea link mbele. Yeah. Sawa sawa. So imekuwa show kubwa sports special nikiwa na mwanzangu hapa hivi bwana Brian Gavenji ametoka mbali sana kuja hapa just to make the show happen thank you mm. karibu kutenga time yako unajua your time is precious bado kwa hivi hapa hivi ni asante sana uh, without forgetting eh uh, to kutaja our producer my producer anaitwa B Market Mwangi ni msichana lakini anajaribu kufanya unasema kama oh asijiwa msichana asijiwa nifanye girl power girl power eh yeah. anaanza yeah. kwa proof long long anasema what a man can do even a woman can do better <laughs> Ah uh, sana sana Bimagret Mwangi na our videographer anaitwa King na yeye anajitanga King lakini sijui King yake ni kwanza gani acha niseme pole pole hii yake si real <laughs> anajita Mbuya na Dominic Mbuya anafanya kazi safi kazi kundu upande wa pili asante sana kwa nyamaza okay tikitako kwanza kutufuatilia kuanzia mwanzo hadi tamati sawa sawa wana Arsenal ni msijali there is always another time watu kianza kukatia demu leo kwa courtship na fikanga watu wa Rusi anakuacha pia imaanishi ni mwisho wa mapenzi <laughs> na kuteleza si kuanguka sawa sawa eh tupatane next time eh, bwana Brian tutaandaa tutaanda kitu fulani hapo hivyo before league ianze ya msimu mjao tutaona tutaweza kufanya kitu nzuri tukikaribisha league na tutaweza kufanya predictions zetu vizuri alafu tujue league itendaje na tukifunga league tena tufanya very smart thing tuangalie vitu tulikuwa tumetaweza tume ku predict si ndio itakuwa kwa screen itakuwa kwa screen si ndio haya sawa sawa nimekuwa wako kijana mtanashati mwenye ukipenda umezaniita the handsome boy na ukipenda zaidi umezaniita the big bazu ni vile sijabeba brand leo alafu pia umezaniita king davido mabibi zenyu wanajua hivyo wale zenyu pale hivyo jina langu rasmi umezaniita maiwa david au baba declan ukipenda zaidi umezaniita baba yao baba lao tupatane next time eh na kubuki eh eh, eh siwezi sahau hii bwana remember to follow us on our uh, facebook page on our social media handles pale hiyo youtube to kings fraternity subscribe like leave the comment pale hiyo facebook to kings tv wacha comment yako bwana sio na kinyongo ah, wacha na hiyo bwana Aya weka comment yako pale share follow to our besties alafu kuna podcast mm, kuna hiyo podcast inakuwa na inaitwa inaitwa sports special ingia pale hiyo anka fm tafuta sports special you will see a lot of episodes ziko pale hiyo why us remember in the league kama ongelea kina haland watu wengi sawa sawa alafu nawaambianga ukienda kwa 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 nini kwa shimento aje <laughs> Ukiingia kwa nini? Ukiingia kwa hiyo podcast. Podcast hii kitu na take time yako. Unaeka tu simu yako hapo kando kama ni deki unapiga, unapiga deki yako, ukisikiza na podcast. Unaosha vyombo hapo na pika ukisikiza podcast. Pole pole tu ukienjoy, si ndio? Eh, tupatane next time, si ndio? Longa na mimi, ongea na mimi pale kwa Facebook at my David, Twitter at my David underscore David Danbo. Tupatane next time, same same place, same same time, sablaga. Love you all.